What's going on, everybody? It's yo boy, Mr. Lightwork. Lightwork for short. And today, I'm not bringing y'all gameplay um, because I've been on a little hiatus. No sense for the game because of my internet and different things like that. But, you know, we're back on the grind. So there's no gameplay tonight. But I do have some big gameplay changing news for Madden 21. Now, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, Hit the like button. And then also, you drop your boy a comment, you know, do your thing. And hit that bell icon so you know when your vid my videos do drop. All right, but let's just jump in. So, right now I'm going to be showing y'all a franchise that I'm in, you know, for $50. It's uh, being hosted by uh, V Legendary Lou, uh, one of my homeboys. He's a YouTuber as well. Um, I'll put his link up somewhere in the video. And um, and everything like that, but let's get into this gameplay changes, okay? Let's get into the gameplay changes. So for Madden 21, I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, um, talk about it needs to be real. It needs to be more real. It needs to be more real. Now, this comes from a tweet. This was a tweet by Donnie Moore talking about how basically we can make the game more real. Okay, so he says. How bad of an idea is it to make stamina and injuries matter more in games? Talking about a smart system, not random. One where if you run the ball five, six, seven straight times, your back is going to need a breather to get back to 100%. Injury risk will rise as long as he stays in the game. So he did a poll, and out of the 1,500 votes, most of us was like, not not the worst idea so let's, let's talk about that let's just talk about that for a second okay so we know stamina is in the game and it really affects offensive players defense is not really affected by stamina uh, on online games online ranked matches different things like that it's mainly the offense so when your player gets tired obviously you know he's at higher risk to fumble uh really just the fumble in online games. Now, franchise mode is a little bit different because injuries do play a part. Now, when you make the game more real like this, that's a good look. I do like that because you're going to see, I'm going to put it right up in the video now. This guy ran Mutt. Now, he was in Mutt. He won the, Mutt, the Madden Bowl, Madden 20 Bowl. Won the Madden Bowl, Madden 20 Bowl. Um, and all he did was run the ball. He ran the ball, I think, around 150 times and didn't throw a single pass. Now, the, obviously, that's mutt. But imagine that being in regs. So say you got a Saquon Barkley, Dalvin Cook. He's getting tired. You're still running him. Just keep running him, keep running him. Now he's at a higher risk for fumbling the ball or, you know, getting hurt. You know, I think that's I think that's a pretty good look. Now, obviously, they try to do the smart technology thing before and this, that, and the third, but that would be a dope look. Okay. So in this next tweet, he said some features would be a bad idea under any implementation, uh, in my opinion, such as box snaps, blown calls by from um, officials, any kind of uh, ability to throw a dot to uh, inability any kind of ability to dot an injury, which I don't know, that don't really make sense. Career modes centered around long snapper positions, making onside kick skill-based, okay? A skill-based mechanic. Now, when you talk about having a real game, I'm sorry, but that happens in real life. Now, it may be a bad idea for Madden, but a lot of us want the real thing and if you want the real thing then you have to accept real life actions you know and i'm saying bot snaps that happens okay blown calls by officials that happens in real life now if we're always complaining about the gameplay then yeah okay they can just improve that and approve the officials and different things like that but if you want a real game here's your real game Period. You know what I'm saying? Straight across the board, straight like that. That's your real game, okay? 
All right, now in the background, y'all currently see my uh, franchise. Like I said, I'm in the uh, franchise with uh, V Legendary Lou, okay? So he goes on to answer some tweets, okay? Um, the guy named Monster uh, was talking about stamina always being an issue in that players get tired too fast and um, different things like that. So um, Donnie was like, well, true that not ideal either would love to see actual be a skill to manage your backfield maximum ability like real football like real world football mixing up play call changing the pace of the uh, the backs and the uh, d-line linebackers different things like that now what he's saying in this tweet i know i kind of like rambled through that but what he's saying in this tweet is that if he goes this route of, you know, implementing this uh, smart play or this smart technology and everything like that, then we have to be more mindful of our backfield being tired, wide receivers being tired, um, different things like that. Now, the O-line, you know, they're, they're usually out there the entire time. But, you know, wide outs, they get tired. Running backs get tired, you know. So we have to be mindful of that. If we hand the ball off to Saquon Barkley five times in a row, you know, he should be worn out and he should need a replacement in there, you know, but if they do that, then obviously they may have to implement um, auto subs and different things like that. Once the player gets tired and then things like the weight of the player may play a big part in it, stuff like that. So, you know, you're jumping into a whole different uh, thing when um, you're talking about the stamina and um, being real and, and, and different things like that. So you got to be mindful of those things, okay? Like, I know everybody wants a real game, but when it's too real, they're going to complain because it's a video game. Um, different things like that. So he goes on to talk about um, uh, what else? Y'all going to see the tweet up here. I'm kind of reading it from my phone, so... I apologize, all right? But as long as, uh, not exaggerated, no backfield in the NFL is going to stay in the entire game. So this guy is also talking about stamina as well. Um, I'm going to put the tweet up in the video so y'all can see it um, and everything like that. Y'all can read it for yourself, pause the video. But um, he's saying, yeah. So Donnie tweet, um, replies to him saying, it's basically going to be a skill-based type of thing. Like you're going to be, you're going to have to be mindful. And then he said, um, if a QB takes more than, then three hits, then we may put in a danger zone. So he may be more prone to fumbling. I mean, I've seen quarterbacks get sacked all game and don't fumble. It happens. But, you know, one thing they need to address is fumbling. Like, QBs don't fumble the way they fumble on Madden 20. Like, every time they get hit, they fumble. They get tripped, they fumble. Like, come on, man, let's be real. Like, you, know, you can't be, you can't be serious. Like, you really cannot be serious that he fumbled off of being tripped. Okay, so um, that's something they got to work on. But, you know, you got to slide. You know what I'm saying? If you're, you got a QB, he's taking too many hits, guess what? He may be prone to fumble, okay? Like, he may get happy feet. But these are the things that you have to take into account when you're talking about a real football game. Like, that, like you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really think about these things like you just can't be like oh i want a real football game and not have everything real that's whack you know like you're not that's not realistic that's not um that's not fair period like oh like they got mad at joker for running the ball like i said 130 times right they they got mad at that okay well if you want him want it to be more realistic and you want him to pass the ball and different things like that. You want him to have a quarterback and mutt and all that. That's mutt. That's why I don't complain about it. I don't really rock with mutt like that. But if you want a real game, these are things that happen in real life football. People get tired. QBs get hit too much. They get happy feet. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So you got to find that, that middle ground. You got to find that middle ground. All right. Now, here's the last tweet that I'm going to put in the video. This comes from uh, Winvas, Winvas, if I'm saying that right. He says, believe that the system that was used in head coach 09 worked fine. And I'm saying he loved that one. Uh, Donnie said, yeah, that was my favorite game to work on. 
and um you know they don't want it to make it a random type of thing like people getting hurt or getting a pull muscle on one play like so guess what that happens like that's real but they don't want it to make it so real that people are going to start complaining basically like like yo this is so real that this is a video game like this is not even a video game this is real life so there's there's levels to it you know for myself i would love to see a smart system in place and uh seeing that um players are getting too tired he got fumbles because he's tired or he gets hurt you know injuries do happen you know what i'm saying they happen your qb is getting hit a lot hey you gotta you gotta come up with better protection you know what I'm saying he gets happy feet, different things like that. Like I would love to see that in the game. I know they have so much to fix, but you know, that would be a big step forward. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be a huge step forward, you know, in making the game more real. Okay. So um with that being said, look guys, it's a video game. I'm excited for Madden 21 if they are improving on the game. Now, obviously, if they're not gonna improve on the game. And we're going to get the same product. Now, I understand where y'all are coming from. I get that. But what I am saying is this. A lot of guys have a, a thousand ideas to put into Madden to make it more real, to make the skill base more relevant. Like, for you to be your skill to actually play a part, not for the game to be so dumbed down. And I definitely understand that. Um, I may put one of the, uh, like, weak men, this guy got into it about, uh, skill bases and different things like that. I may put the uh, the post up in the, the video as well so you can see it. But what I was trying to tell him, I was trying to get him to understand is, if you make this game so real, you know, then make it real all the way around. Don't just make it real on this one part and make it, you know, fake over here. You know what I'm saying? People get mossed every day. Do it happen as much as it does on Madden? No. Know what I'm saying? People break tackles every day. Does it happen as much as on Madden? No. Um, a lot of things they need to fix. You know, they need to fix the abilities. Chris Jones, Chris Jones from the Chiefs is, is a glitch. You know, let's be real. He's a glitch. Um, you know, Pat Mahomes, you know, his ability is not that big of a deal. Um, somebody else's that I can't um I can't put my finger on right now, but uh like Chris Jones is a glitch. Like he breaks all breaks breaks loose out of any block. He got crazy block shed. He's an animal. But Von Miller don't do that. Uh, who else got it? Um, Aaron Donald doesn't do that. Uh, like a lot of guys don't do what Chris Jones does. And I think Aaron Donald is a ninety nine. Like think about that. But you know, like I said, man, if you want a real game. This is what you're going to be getting, man. It just be, just be, just understand that it's going to be real all the way around, not just on some parts. And you're just going to get kind of this game simulation over here. Like that's not, that's not cool. But you know, um, that's the end of the video. Now we'll show y'all the team I picked in the franchise. Um, where am I at? Okay. So, I did pick the Broncos in the franchise, okay? That is my favorite team. That's who I will be running with in this franchise. Now, I will be dropping videos on the franchise, such as the draft, um, games I play against a lot of these players. Some of y'all may know, like Goaded, um, Goaded Mills. I think Dre Slay is in it, if I'm not mistaken. V Legendary Lou obviously is in it, you know. So we have a lot of guys in here, man, and it's it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but um, I want to just get that information out there to y'all. I know that was kind of a bland video; you didn't get no gameplay or anything like that. But I wanted to drop this video to let y'all know that I'm back. I will be dropping daily videos as soon as possible. You you probably get this one tomorrow morning. I'm um, actually recording this at night, so you may get this video tomorrow morning. Okay, so just be on the lookout for that. Make sure you're uh, you hit that bell icon so you know when my videos do drop. Now, if you're new to my channel, you like the videos, you like the content, subscribe to your boy. That's all your boy asks. I don't, 
It's free. Like, like my girl just said, she's right here. She's right here. It's free. It's free. You know what I'm saying? It don't even click. That's all it takes. That's all it takes, man. But, you know, I appreciate all of y'all. Um, I know this video, like I said, was no gameplay. It was just me talking. But I wanted to get that out there to y'all. I will be putting, like I said, the tweets in the video so y'all can see them. And um, read it for yourself. Also, follow Donnie Moore. He works with EA. He's a, I think he's a um, developer and everything like that. So, hey, if you want to say something to him, say something to him. You know what I'm saying? You might be heard. All right, but it's your boy Light Work. I am out. Stay safe. Love one another. Stay your butt home if you ain't got to go to work. All right, we go.